Hey, how's it going? Trading View Dennis here from PrimedTraders.com. In this video, uh, I want to talk to you guys about one of the most important um, things that I focus on day in, day out. Before my trading day begins, I follow a very basic process, um, which includes mapping out news and so forth and so forth for trading FX in the seized commodities. When it comes to crypto, excuse me, there is usually not so much news going on. But as an overall, I follow this basic process. Uh, I'm on the two minute chart of Bitcoin. We'll check DAX too, something I traded today so far. We'll go over a small recap. What I do is I map the daily low. The day begins here at this dotted level. Um, there's three levels that I focus on. One is a moving level and that is the VWAP. I also use the anchored VWAP, which I'll show to you in a minute. So currently these are the daily low and daily high for Bitcoin. What I focus on here is basically targeting these levels. So I'll give you an explanation. Let's say that you started trading over here and this was the daily high. Yeah. As you guys can see, as soon as that daily high breaks, the market continues up by forming higher lows <clears throat> and higher highs, such as here. High, low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. The market's in an uptrend. We are above the VWAP. Now, if you check out the signature in my post, you'll see a course, big discount there, 57%. And um, it's like 13 bucks, by the way, peanuts for a course that's over four hours long. There I explain the strategy we use, but I'll give you a brief example of how I trade. We are above the daily VWAP, okay? Price action is above. What I would look to do is long any kind of exhausted levels towards below the 60 level right but I, I do use one more indicator here it's the hooks indicator i execute on ctrader and i'd only look to take longs above the vwap unless there is a price action pattern or unless we start showing weakness at the daily high so if we start forming lower highs like this here give me a second like this like steps towards the downside, I would look to short this market only in that way. And of course, it being exhausted, such as here or currently above the 60 level, I would be allowed to short. As an overall, I want to go over the DAX and just show you what I've done today. So I'll open up Discord for a second, just so you guys can see this. Here are some trades here, here, here. I use an algorithm to lock my trades in. As an overall, there was another TP here. This worked out too. Took another 34 pips. So here, total income 84 points on the DAX. Now I'm currently short on this. We just broke the VWAP. I'm taking shorts. We are in a bear market. So anytime we get weakness at a daily high, I look to short. In this case, check this out. Here's the daily low. The day opened up at the blue level. This was the daily high right there. This one here. That's the daily high. Now the market opened up 9 a.m. my time. So that's where I set the anchored VWAP. So let me give you a sec. So this would be the average price of the London Open. Anchored VWAP, very powerful thing. Now check this out. Price action starts forming these higher lows and higher highs on the, on the tick chart. I use a 25 tick chart to trade the DAX. Um, and I started longing this eventually. And now check this out. We have an indecision candle here, or I guess this is a doji, um, right where at the London anchored VWAP. The market continues to break high after high. Check this out. Previous high. Yeah, this is the daily high, the new daily high. We push down, we break out, we reuse that level, we make a new high. Eventually we break out of that high and finally form this high over here. Now, if I take you down to a minute chart, for example, what you're gonna notice is a very nice sell-off. So the three levels I focus on are daily high, daily low, and they're adjustable, I move them. Um, and then what happens at these daily highs is really important. Here, we broke the bearish structure. Now this can be applied to any stock, commodity, cryptocurrency, and so forth. We break out of that here. And basically what I'm looking for, of course, this is a one minute chart. I trade on ticks, but shorter time frame than this. And what I'm looking for is for RSI to become exhausted. Basically go above the 60 when we are above the Viva. And here, there was an opportunity to do that. I'm just gonna show you, just give me a sec. 
I'll show you my RSI on the ticks. Oh, no, not like that. So here it is. Here's that same level. Same level, this one here. And you can see that I'm getting hooks for shorting and RSI is hitting that 60 level numerous times. Hence, a valid short is initiated. Of course, I set my anchored VIV up to the top. Uh, on the ticks, here I have it on the play. The market moves down, breaches this and forms a contraction. So you guys can see it's uh, breaking out of the anchored VWAP, which it supported here, and here it's forming a little flag pattern towards the downside. Yeah, more downside. Eventually we hit the VWAP, form a double bottom. I started longing this. This didn't work out because we had high, lower high, lower high, and we eventually broke out completely towards the downside. Now, my site is still hmm, bullish, but I'm much more ready to sell then I am to buy because we, good friends of TradingView, have dropped below the VWAP for the day. If we're below the VWAP, I am more prone to sell than I am to buy. If we're above it, I'm more prone to buy than I am to sell. But rules are meant to be broken. So in such scenarios where we make a daily high and we have a sell-off, that means there is a lot of selling happening here. So this is an important level for me now. And of course, Let's go back to the two minute chart. The daily low is also a vital one that's here. Okay, so I'm going to focus on these levels. I know that this was a previous important level right here. I can map it this way too, grab both sides of it, and that's it. Now I'm looking to short this based on the RSI if it triggers up plus, 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 plus the rest of the system. But as an overall, I think you guys can already see the value and the power of these levels. These levels are very important. And when price action forms these kind of daily highs, such as this one here, magical things happen at it. Here we had a massive continuation up. Here we had a massive sell-off. And when this high is established, I look at price action. And if we're showing weakness, ready to sell. Sell like hell. If we're showing support at these areas here, then I, of course, look to take action. But another place where I take big action is right around the VWAP, like here. Right now, I'm preparing myself to enter a big trade. Whether that's going to be short or long, I'm going to do something by zeroing in on the short-term charts. Remember, I'm a day trader, and my only mission today and every day of the week is to make a profit. I hope this helps. Good luck with the day, and I'll see you later.